Okay, so this Squan tutorial, we're going to look at creating a question and an answer um, where someone has to type in the answer rather than picking from a multiple choice question. So you can see that I've created a question and the question is, you can connect peripheral devices to a laptop or computer using which port? Now, peripheral device would be uh, a mouse, a keyboard, a printer, a scanner, mobile phone, uh, USB, memory stick, uh, anything that a, ca a camera, anything that you connect to your computer, um, that and you use the port. It's, so I've already said it, the USB port. So the answer is USB port, and we're going to. I've got set up a, an action button here. Someone's going to click to answer, and we'll have an, an input box appear for the answer. So let's go into our Visual Basic Editor and I'm hoping that by now you've done enough of these tutorials that you're kind of one step ahead of me and you're already thinking, oh yeah, I know how to do that, we need to do this, we need to do that. So, you know, please do try yourself and, and you know, just come back to the tutorial if you get stuck. That's what the pause button's for. But if you do want to carry on, then let's think about it. We are creating an object um, that we want to store something in. So imagine your box that's going to store the answer for question five, something with dimensions. So that's dim. And uh, let's give it a name that we recognize. So answer question five. Um, so we want an input box. Well, if we look down here, we created an input box early on when we created a subroutine called name and named our input box uh, user ID. So we want to do something similar again. So we're going to create a subroutine, which I'm going to call question five, and the uh, our dim, our object, it, this time is called answer question five sure you type it in exactly the same and so that's equals now it's an input box capital I capital B input box brackets prompt colon and whatever enter your answer enter your answer yep close the speech marks close the brackets so that should give us an input box now please do Oh, I've got a red when I've saved it. So what have I done wrong? Uh, I've missed out the equals. So if I look up here, prompt colon equals, what is your name? I've missed that out. There we go. It's gone black. Good. So do keep saving, looking out for these errors, and then test. So shift and F5 to test this question. Click to answer. We expect an input box. We've got an input box. We type in our answer press OK and nothing happens because we haven't programmed anything to happen yet so let's do that now right first of all let's just think about it in English don't worry about the code think about what we want to happen so if the answer is USB then we want a well done message and we want uh, an extra point to go on the number correct so essentially what we want is the message box to pop up the correct answer subroutine to run and move on to the next question. So what we want to happen is the correct oops, I don't know what I've done there. Okay. We want the correct subroutine to run. So let's go down here and we'll start to put it into some uh, code. Now you've come across uh, the uh, if uh, in scratch if block and you've possibly probably come across uh, the if function in Excel spreadsheet so if is a common concept in, in computer programming so if now if answer question 5 equals USB then I'm just going to press enter and you'll see that the if and the then have turned blue and that's because they're commands that the Visual Basic Editor understands so that's a good sign so if it equals USB then what do we want to happen well we want the subroutine correct to run so we put that in now else which you may or may not have come across yet but if then else a common construct in programming else so if it's not USB what do we want to happen well we want the subroutine wrong to run. So the message box that's wrong will pop up. Uh, a mark, a point will go on to the number of incorrect answers. 
so we'll put wrong but if we look up here if you get the answer wrong we've got it set up so you stay on that question until you get it right which is absolutely fine for a multiple choice question because essentially all you've got to do is keep trying the different answers you've, you're going to get it right at some point but with a question where you've got to type in the answer if you don't know it then you're stuck um, because no amount of staring at the screen is going to give you the answer so I think probably what we do want to do is to strip this piece of code here copy that code control C and put that after the wrong so if they get this question wrong then it will move forward onto the next slide and something that you do need to do um, with an if in VBA and actually I've pressed return and the and oh is that uh, I've put that in the wrong place because it's all inside it should be it should all be inside the end sub so that's my fault so I'm just going to move that into there okay and then we need to do what's an end if there we go so that should be right okay save yeah no red at the moment let's try that so we are expecting Oh, we know our input box works so we're expecting it to go on to the next slide well done now it doesn't have a name because we've not run this from the beginning click OK and there we go so that worked let's get it wrong so let's say a serial port that's wrong ah, but it has gone on to the next slide so that's great um, that is good now let me show you what happens if I type the answer in capitals so essentially that's the correct answer but the computer's telling me that that's wrong and that's because the computer is literal we've told it that we'll accept that USB so now they've put it in in capitals well the computer says wrong the computer says no so what we can do is we can then put an or in so if answer question 5 equals USB or answer question 5 equals capital USB then okay so let's try it now I'm sure you can th you're thinking ahead there we go we got that one right I'm sure you're thinking ahead and thinking well hang on a minute they could put that in anyway the capital USB it's going to go wrong it could we could put it in with a space or we could put USB space just by error you'll know when you log into the computers in school if you put a space then you're going to get it wrong so there's so many different variables that you, you could try and put them all into the code or what you could do is you know write an instruction on your slide saying you know please use all lowercase letters something like that so you have a go with setting up a question um, that takes uh, takes an answer that's been typed in.